hey, it's Gothy, and yeah, <laughs> it's dark in my room again because it's still hot and I just got home. It's like 1.30 and I left at like 8.30 this morning, so yeah, no reason. I had um, initial contact appointment for my new job network today. Um, wasn't actually with my consultant, so it's still, I'm not sure how it's going to go with the new job network, but had that, so that's done. Paperwork's all signed and everything, so something at least. Um, and then I got myself some lunch because I had had my um, appointment last week with Family Planning. They moved it from the Tuesday to the Thursday. So I went and did that, had my pap smear. It was it was all right. You know, I panicked a little bit. Um, the hardest part was actually the blood test because I did a full STD screen because it's been a while since I got one. And they couldn't draw blood. There was a doctor, a doctor in training, and a nurse, and they couldn't get blood. Um, they stabbed me a few times, and like it was even to the point where they didn't even bother putting like the little bandage patches on because I wasn't bleeding. Like it, this wasn't gonna work. So they gave me like a slip and said, "Oh, I'll go to these one of these pathology places and have something to eat right before you go in, so that hopefully they'll be able to draw blood." So I went in and they stabbed me one time. You can see it's in Illidan. Um and it started to bleed, and then it, and then my vein moved. It rolled um, because that's what they do. My veins hide and they roll. I am like the worst person to try and draw blood from, like add on top that I'm, you know, usually hyperventilating and usually crying because needle phobia. Yeah, I'm not pleasant to, to draw blood from. But then she tried on the other arm and got it. So it's usually that's the way it is. It's like, okay, you're right-handed or left-handed, right-handed. All right, we'll do your left arm. Okay, it's not working there. We'll try your right arm. Not working there. We'll try your hand. Not working there either. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, and then I just did a little bit of shopping on the way home because I managed to not only get the blood drawn, but I didn't even cry this time. I hyperventilated a bit and panicked a bit, but I did not have a panic attack, which is a huge deal for me, considering like a year and a half ago I still had to be held down to get a needle. So, yeah, I picked up, um calligraphy set and it comes with like the pens and the inks and refills and all sorts of stuff. It was five bucks. Um, so it has three pen barrels, three stainless steel nibs, fine, medium and broad, um, 14 ink cartridges and um, like a sheet of like practice fonts and stuff like that. So yeah, I thought it could be cool. I'll give that a go and hopefully won't be crap at it. And then I grabbed this was five bucks. So I mean it's Grumpy Cat, of course I'm going to. No problem. Seeing the half glass as uh, seeing the glass is half full. Solution, knock it the fuck over. Like, yeah. Um and apart from that, oh, I've got to go pick that up from the front door. Fuck. I could have shown that too. There's a colouring book that is sitting in between my screen door and my main door. Because they um they put it in there so that it's safe. I'll have to grab that. But it's another not safe for work colouring book. Um, an adult one. I can't. Which I'll, I'll do a review for anyway. Like I'm probably going to clear my other side of the desk and film that today. Also had this one. I'm surprised it took me as long as it did to get this, but I have it now. I don't know if I'll ever color it until I get good at skin and people and faces, but it's mine. It's mine. It's mine. But yeah, and then I got a couple of other books and stuff that were just really cheap. So yeah. And the other thing that I bought, which is not for me actually, um, because before we moved we had our lounge room set up with um, our half Kallax as the entertainment table and the TV on top, and we had my old computer. Um, 
which works, but it's like, it's, it's slow. It, it's a zombie computer, basically. Still alive somehow, you don't actually understand why, and it works. Um, so, zombie computer was set up with our TV, so that we could access the, net, the home network and stuff, and like, I could access movies off my computer and watch them out in the lounge room if we had guests or whatever. But we don't really get that many guests, so we decided instead that I would put the half Kallax in my room for my WoW stuff, and Andrew would put the TV and the zombie computer in his room. So we were wanting to still connect it to the home group, um, but we don't want to have to run a cable from in here, like over here where the modem is, all the way through the house to his room. So I went and picked up a PCI adapter. It's like a wireless card you put into your computer and it will um, connect to the Wi-Fi without needing a cable. So I'm going to stick this in the zombie computer, um, connect it all up and when he gets home he'll be able to watch stuff and he doesn't know that I've done this yet. So yeah. Um, I'm also going to paint some more of his room um, I've got all the spoons today for some fucking reason, but yeah, so I, I spent some of my money this fortnight on that so that I can get that set up for him and he can just relax and stuff because he's been really stressed. I mean, coming up to Christmas and it's just been a pretty full on year and yeah. So, what else? Alright, so the other thing is I did my IED consultation as well when I saw the family planning clinic last week. This is the Marina. The way that they do it is they give you a script and then you take the script down to a pharmacist and you be like, hey, give me this thing. And then they give you this thing. And this is the Marina. This is the IUD. So I'm not getting it put in until the 8th of December. So I've got a couple weeks. Um, but yeah, this is the box that it comes in. But it's only this big. So... Yeah, but thankfully, like these these things cost about a hundred bucks, hundred a hundred and ten dollars depending. Um, with my low income healthcare card, it cost me five bucks. So I'm really happy about that. It's the only thing I've had to pay for this entire thing so far. So yeah, five bucks for five years. That's a good deal. So yeah, it's like this like tiny little thing, but it's this huge ass fucking box because of the applicatory thingy. Yeah. The, it, the, the process still freaks me out a bit, although now I know what it's like with the speculum and everything, so it should be okay. Should. We'll see how we go. It's me after all. Um, Ooh, I don't know if I can get that out without everything coming off because I'm a doof and I put all my cross stitching and everything else on top of it. Yay. Alright, so I've been um, testing my watercolours. Like, I got that little. Can I get to it? Where is it? My, um, my little watercolour thingy that I bought a couple weeks ago. Um, I've been testing it in this book. So. I mean, bearing in mind that it is dark, but yeah, those are really nice colours. This is just a picture that I was just testing the colours out to see what they're like and stuff. Like, I'm not going for anything particular here. It's, um, yeah, it's just, I'm not too fussed on that image. So I've been playing around with that. Um, I've only been working on one cross-stitch project, but it's at the halfway mark now. So, um, this one had the A and a little bit of the C done. So now I've done all the bottom text. One of the witches is now finished. I would do the cauldron and the other witch and then the stuff at the top and it's done. So I've been sort of focusing this one. Um, I'm using Fibalicious and it's um, Smell My Feet. It's one of the Halloween ones from this year. So, yeah. I won't be getting the Christmas ones because it's me and I'm a Grinch, so. And yeah, that's all I've been doing craft wise. I haven't picked up any other cross stitching yet. Yet. Um, possibly later on, see how I go. Um, 
I think that's really it. Yeah. So I've already put the other books over there and I'm not wearing pants, so it's it's not that hot today. It it is warm, but it's not super hot. Um so it's okay. I'm actually gonna check the temperature. It's easy to do on my phone. Uh, it says it's only 21, but I don't feel like that is right. I've just been outside and it is warm. So let's check the weather app. Yes, allow. Uh, no, I don't want that. Yeah, no, it's not 21 degrees. My phone is lying to me. It is 32.3 degrees. There is a very, very slow wind. It's like nothing, basically. And the humidity is 38%. Um, we've also got a 40% chance of a thunderstorm. Oh, 80% chance. Okay. Yeah. So basically what, what, what it's like is we're coming into that, see, that, that start of summer. Right, in the start of summer in Australia, where I live, it it's really, really hot in the morning and throughout the afternoon and then towards the end of the day, it'll start to rain or to storm and it won't help dissipate the heat at all. It just makes it humid as fuck. So then you're hot and moist and gross and it's nasty. That's summer in Australia in the beginning. After a couple of weeks, like towards the end of December, beginning of January, it's just fucking hot and it's dry heat. And that's when we hit the temperatures of like 38, 39, 40 and above. So tomorrow is supposed to be 37 with a 20% chance of a shower in the evening. Thursday's, uh, Wednesday is going to be 31 with an 80% chance of rain. Thursday is going to be 25 with a 5% chance. Friday, 29 with a 40% chance of rain. Saturday, 30. Sunday, 27. And that's that's it so far. Is my extra chap working yet? No. Still can't get into the extra chap, so I don't know what I'm going to do there. Um, yeah, so it's just hot as shit. So basically, in summer, if you leave the house during the days, get home. Take off all the clothes you don't have to wear and just fucking whatever. <laughs> yeah. Ah, <sighs> right. So I'm gonna go do stuff while I still have spoon. Ah, yeah. Just as I say that, I start to yawn because I haven't actually slept yet. I couldn't sleep last night, so that was not pleasant. I don't like that. But yeah, I'm gonna go pick up my other colouring book from out the front before it melts. Oh, my books don't melt. I just don't want it out in the heat. I just wanna touch it and colour it. It's gonna be awesome. Um, it's by James Alexander and it's in the same series of colouring books as the um, swearing one that I've got. So it's called Memos to Shitty People, which I am very much looking forward to having a look through. Again, if I was wearing pants, if I, I, I still have a lot of videos that I need to edit, like they're still on my camera, my camera <laughs> hasn't moved. Um, I am going to probably film some of my newer colouring books that I've gotten since I did that last batch and then just sort of do them all in one go. So you'll probably see it then. I mean, if you're interested in seeing what it is, I can put that up as the next colouring video because I know they haven't been up some for a little while. Um, has just been like lots of life and adulting stuff, it's just not much time to sit and do a lot of fun things and yeah, just dropping the ball on other responsibilities because I'm dealing with doctors and family planning stuff and then the job network stuff and yeah, it's all just a mess basically. Um, but it's getting there. I still am hoping to go on that I can find somewhere to like disappear for a few days over Christmas so I just don't have to deal with Christmas because 
I don't want to deal with Christmas. But we will see how that goes. I, I'm thinking that what I might actually do is just sort of like tell everyone that I'm going somewhere for a couple of days and just like hermit the fuck out in my room and just like stay off Facebook and all sorts of stuff and just pretend that I'm not home. <laughs> Because I don't want to do Christmas this year. Like, I just don't want to deal with it. Like, because of the stuff for, like, the house and everything. Like, we're doing groceries tonight. So, like, this was a huge splurge for me. The fact that I spent, like, ten bucks on a, on a book and, like, calligraphy thing is... It's gonna... It's gonna sort of make me feel guilty for a bit, but... Yeah. Um... So, I'm not doing Christmas presents this year, and there are certain people that sort of, not necessarily expect Christmas presents, but when they want Christmas presents, they want stuff that's being bought and paid for. They don't really appreciate handmade stuff, so it's not like I can just cross-stitch them something and they'll be happy with it, because I've tried that and they're not. So, yeah. I just don't want to deal with it this year. Um, I'm just so over people and dramas and I just want to just go and hide somewhere for a few days and just not have to deal with it at all. That would be awesome. <sighs> oh god damn it. I want, how many people have I made yawn? I want to know if I've made you yawn because that would be kind of hilarious. Also I'm sorry but it will also be sort of hilarious. But um, yeah. Oh, and like another sort of thing, like another plus side for my anxiety is not only did I not have a panic attack for the blood test, um, not a full one anyway, I'm also like because my new job network is in St Mary's, um, I haven't stepped foot in St Mary's since I lived with my ex when I was with my ex there and that was when I was in a, a violent relationship, an abusive relationship. And there's a lot about that relationship that a lot of people don't know. So those who do know exactly what this guy did to me, yeah, the fact that I'm stepping foot back into the town and going to the areas that we used to go to and stuff, it's it's kind of a big deal for me. So I'm still, like, scared as fuck that I'm going to run into him, but that's another thing. But he has also, like, my friends, some of my friends tell me when they see him. And apparently he's been seen in Mount Druid a few times, so I'm probably going to have to face this guy at some point in the future. It scares the fuck out of me, but we'll see what happens. Um, I may never run into him again. Although today I did run into someone that I went to high school with, and he actually recognised me, and he's like the first person from high school who I haven't seen in a few years. Um... Actually, I haven't seen him since high school, and I finished high school before he did. So it's been it's been at least ten years since I've seen this guy, and he still recognised me. But he's like the only one that has. So most other people don't, as far as I'm aware. And he's got a kid now. I'm glad that's a thing that I'm not going to have to worry about for like five years. Like. And I do have to keep making a note because I did it during the um, appointment with the family planner, like with the doctor, um, where I just sort of sat there and she had to like double take because she's like, she really just say that? And it was like, oh yeah, no, like I just really want, you know, permanent contraception. I don't want kids, you know, I don't want to have to worry about baby gravy. And she just sort of looked and I'm just like, what? Oh shit, I said baby gravy again. Fuck. I, I, I want to be taken seriously as an adult, says Baby Gravy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not a normal person. <laughs> um, yeah, but then this week, this week is just pretty much going to be doing whatever I want. Um, I'm possibly meeting up with a friend on Friday and teaching her to cross stitch because she wants to learn, um, which will be cool. And she's one of my new friends, and she's one of my Blizzard friends, so we can, like, cross-stitch and, like, chat about Blizzard and Overwatch. And I have cookies. 
I still have my Subway cookies because I had Subway for lunch because they told me to eat before I um, had my blood test and I took Coke with me too because I know that if I'm having a blood test I usually fast beforehand like I'll drink some water but otherwise nothing else um, and it's not because I have to it's because it's it's better for me because if I'm gonna have a panic attack sometimes I might when I'm having a panic attack, sometimes I throw up. So if I haven't eaten anything, if I've only had water, I'm not going to throw up. Like, the chances of me, like, I'll, like, gag and everything, but I won't actually throw up because there's nothing in my stomach to throw up. So having to, like, with the instructions to have something to eat right before you go for it, kind of, yeah. And then I got dizzy. Like, they did the one arm. Yeah, left arm. Didn't work. And then they did from the other arm, and they took two vials. So, and not, not the small vials, but the big vials. They took two. Um, and, yeah, then I felt a bit dizzy afterwards. So, yeah, that's why I usually don't eat before I go for blood tests, because I know I get dizzy. Um, the same thing happened when I got my lip pierced, is, um, you know, I, I ate probably about an hour before I got done, got dizzy afterwards. Um, I don't eat before I get tattoos, same thing. And yeah, I usually just eat after, it's easier for me. So I had Subway, so I still have cookies. I was going to eat them after for like blood sugar, like to bring my sugar back up and stuff, because again, I knew I was going to get dizzy, so. Although it was funny, because like, the text sort of like, oh, I don't have anything, like, I don't have any water or anything in here. And I'm like, oh, well, it's all right. Like, can I have some Coke in here? Yeah, it's cool. Okay, yeah, sweet. I'll, I'll just do that. Um, and then she's like, oh, you, this dizziness fading and stuff. I'm like, oh, yeah. And so, at least you don't have to worry about me, like, walking out of here and passing out. Because I had the wheelchair. And it's, she just sort of, huh, yeah. That's, um... It's, it's true. I'm just like, yeah, this got really awkward really quickly because I made a wheelchair joke. It's funny. I, I thought it was funny. I, just, I don't have to walk out of here. You don't have to worry that I'm going to like walk out and face plant it and pass out or something. Although, in it, the other hand, I could like pass out with my hand in the joystick and like crash into the wall or like run off the road or something. It, it's just as bad, but... Hey. But yes. Well, I can put the AC on because it is quite warm. I'm going to have some cookies. And then I'm going to go paint. And then I'm going to get Andrew's computer set up. So, I don't think I need anything special for this. Uh, no. Oh, I might, need, I might need my screwdrivers if Andrew hasn't stolen them because he does like to steal them. I have a really nice set of um, screwdrivers specifically for computers and like small things. And Andrew likes to take off with them. Even though he very rarely needs tiny screwdrivers. He just likes to take off with the screwdrivers. He's taken off with like both of my Allen key sets. Let's see. Oh. Here we go. It's actually funny because the computer store that I got this from, um, they've got stairs and they're up on the second level. So I just like called them and I'm like, hey guys, do you have this thing in stock? How much is it? Okay, cool. Well, funny story. I'm downstairs. I can't get up because I'm using my wheelchair. Um, can you bring it downstairs and I'll just pay cash. So that's how we did it. And the guy, the guy comes out and like, cause I'm wearing my Overwatch shirt. And he's just like, "Oh, did you play this weekend?" And I'm like, "Oh, I've been playing like the whole time since it came out." And he's like, yeah, no, I I played this weekend and it was really fun. And I don't know whether I want to buy it now. And I'm like, "Oh, you totally should. I'm not biased at all, but you should totally buy it." So yeah. All right. Let's see. It's installation stuff. I don't need that. Static bag. Um, 
no, I shouldn't need screws. There's no holes for screws, so should be all right. Cool. So I'll install that. I've I've done all this stuff before, so it's no huge deal. It's nothing new. But yes, that is my plans for the day. Do some stuff. Do some things. And sit down and stitch. Get some more painting done because I want to get Andrew's room done and go from there. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.